Hello, I'm Bill Dawson, horticulturalist, and I'm here at Oakland Nursery, the Columbus store. I'm a cat bomb gardener. Cat is one of the nursery managers here, and she cares for hundreds, if not thousands, of hydrangeas. And what a gorgeous selection, and so many different varieties of and types of hydrangeas. Uh, let's talk about a few. You've got some right here. What are, yeah, what are these hydrangeas? There's four or five main types. This is my favorite. This is a, called a smooth hydrangea or an arborescence. This is the Ohio native. This is Annabelle, the most popular of the cultivated varieties. They are now coming out with pink ones though. Nice. Incredible blush and ruby. Yep. So you can get some more of that pink. Yep. These are reliable bloomers in shady places. Yes. And I have some of these behind my garage where there's almost no sun and they just bloom up a oh, storm. They I get have, bigger every year. I have some in my shade garden too and they're just gorgeous. These tall blooms here, these are great too. With those some pink. Are, yeah, those are panicle hydrangeas. Mm -hmm. They can do full sun. You may have to water them during droughts, but they'll do sun. There's lots of different kinds. Dif the difference is mostly how big the shrub's going to get. They've got a lot of dwarf ones that stay little tiny ones. Yep. Yep. Others that get six to eight feet, they all start out white and then fade to pink. In another week or two, these will be all pink. And then not a flower on this one yet, but they're still dramatic. The leaf of this, this is an oak leaf hydrangea. Yeah, I love these. Now these, these like about half a day sun, morning sun, afternoon shade is their preference. And these leaves turn a brilliant orange red in the fall that is just color, amazing. Color right into the fall with the leaves. And oh my gosh, the size of these blooms. I mean, that is. Isn't that huge. fabulous? <laughs> huge. <laughs> so, what is this? This is the mop head mop hydrangea, head. which is so popular. Uh, people love the blue color, although it's going to be more pink in central Ohio because uh -huh. we don't have the right soil, and these are the hardest kind to grow here. Okay. It gets a little too cold for them in the winter. They need a little bit of sun to bloom, but not too much, or they will. So okay, so a pickier one. Yeah, they are very challenging. Picky. Very say challenging. Uh, many other types and colors. Um, oh, yeah, this this is another mop head. It's just uh, bred for its intense pink. Yes. And what I like about hydrangeas, even the dried flower is gorgeous. You can take those in. Yes. And and you know a dried flower arrangement too, but uh, dramatic. Uh, these trees behind us. What, what are these back here? Now those are panicle hydrangeas too, grafted onto a tree. So you get a little lollipop tree and you get a tree that flowers in the summer, which is a rare thing around here. Yes. Uh, just like the others, they start out white and then change over to pink. So it's kind of like getting two trees yeah. in one for the summer. <laughs> That's great. Um, so hydra is in the name and I know that means I need water, right? They, it need, does. they need moisture. They do. Uh, they are pretty not, even moisture. Not drought color. Right. Good. Uh, so really, you have so many different types, varieties, colors of hydrangeas. Stop by any of the Oakland Nursery stores, pick up some hydrangeas, have endless summer color, right? Endless summer in that one of the that varieties. Is. And uh, yeah, so I'm Bill Dawson from Oakland Nursery to your garden. I'll see you next time.